All right, so here we go with vlog number one. Um, this was a really fast-paced class, so I know we didn't have the whole update once every 12 weeks type of thing, because we it feels like we've only had two weeks. So I decided to sort of break everything down in terms of our online discussions, um, the readings, what I learned from it, and connecting what I learned with um, my peers, because um, there was only, I believe, eight of us. So, um, vlog one, we're here um, talking about critical thinking, which was the first discussion um, question we had. This one wasn't an essay or anything like that, it was just uh, purely definition. But um, it was uh, it was needed, honestly. I didn't really, I don't really think too much about words and definitions too much, honestly. Um, so for this one, we had to describe what critical thinking is. And I wrote that critical thinking is the ability to take any situation or discussion and analyze every possible fact contributing to it. This allows for a better quality of thinking as well as becoming a more well-rounded, as well as becoming more well-rounded. Um, well, even saying that sounds a little ridiculous, honestly. And by ridiculous, I just mean that that's not something I would say right off the bat, naturally. Um, while it was half definition, half my own adaptation, if you were to ask me that question in person, I wouldn't say that. If you asked me what critical thinking meant, I probably just would say just a deep analysis of stuff. Probably literally just say stuff. Um, Cause it's 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 so simple. We we think about well, we think about things all the time. And naturally, if we're interested in a topic, we kind of just break things down and take them apart step by step anyway. Um, uh, I'm a musician as well as an engineer. Um, I have a lot of different passions from uh, caring for animals and archery and playing rugby. Also, sports is a big thing. So if you would talk to, talk to me about any of those, I'd probably pick your mind for a long time talking about facts, um, other opinions, uh, my own experience as well, um, that's very important. And I would ask the same questions back and that's pretty much critical thinking right then and there without having to think about it. Um, it, it. I mean, there you go, you ask a question, you pick it apart, you get another opinion, um, you bring it back together, glue it back together, um, and you were able to form kind of a conclusion out of that critical thinking. And uh, that's what I mean by it comes naturally. It's, I feel like it's not something a lot of people have to naturally think about. You know, if, if it's something that's intriguing to them, they're going to naturally have some sort of critical thinking. They're gonna think about it, take it apart, maybe get opinions. Um, and yeah, it's just a natural thing. Um, and, while what I wrote was more robotic than anything, than natural, honestly, um, I went back and looked at some of the things that um, my peers had to say, and there were two things I looked at. I looked at um, I looked at uh, Justine's post, and I look at, I believe his name is pronounced uh, Nauki. I really hope I'm not messing that up, but um, Nauki. Um, with uh, Justine, she used the words connections. She was the only one out of all of us to use the word connections. And I liked that because I, well, one, I didn't use that word. And two, that's, that's kind of like how it sounds. That's what critical thinking kind of, critical thinking sounds like. If you weren't going to define it at all and just kind of just, Say, you know, give me one word about what critical thinking means. Connections is um, probably a really good way to explain that. Um, she says critical thinking is one's ability to further expand on ideas, uh, create connections, and find meaning from information given to them, which I think was um, really well done. 
Um, <clears throat> the other one I really liked was uh, Nauki's. And um, Nauki said, critical thinking is the purpose of analyzing one's own ideas and the ideas of others through reasoning and logic to seek out the truth. And what I liked about um, his post was how he said, um, seek out the truth. Um, Cause seek out the truth adds the whole logistical factor over um, definitions as a whole. Um, and something I didn't really think about when I was creating my own definitions um, or when I was defining critical thinking, I didn't really think about truth. I kind of went more based off of this is how I feel. Um, if I got your opinion, that's how you feel. And we can kind of just form a consensus based on those two. But most of the time, there actually is kind of like a logistical uh, definition and reasoning to it. And I didn't, I didn't really think that when I was um, writing out my post. So again, um, another uh, post that I really did like, because um, I don't think I added many, many truths. But um, I liked, um, I liked this question. I liked that we started off our online discussions with critical thinking because that's how the entire uh, class kind of went. Um, everything was critical thinking and um, we created or people people had some really 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 good ideas and viewpoints and opinions um, that will get talked about in another online discussion.